Welcome to Happy Life Results Book Group. Hey everybody. We're in a section called number two, do this, and there's a uh, numeral one and numeral two, and we're number two. <laughs> we're number two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it starts reflect on the language learning process. So go ahead. Reflect, reflect on the language learning process, starting from when you were a baby till now, including any foreign language experience. Brainstorm and then jot down one sentence that summarizes your thinking. Um, and obviously, you're not going to remember exactly what happened when you were a baby, so this is a little bit tricky. <laughs> but, but just kind of from what you've observed of other babies, then kind of inter you know, think about how that was you at some point and how babies learn and that kind of thing up till now. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Or anyone that you, if you've learned a foreign language or anyone that you've known mm -hmm. who's learned a foreign language. And that one's kind of tricky because pe some people have a, tried the foreign language approach, the traditional method, and failed at it. Oh, true. So as a contrast to your native language, which you're succeeding, you're fluent, if you've tried to take the traditional approach to a foreign language, com com contrast that as well. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so what was it like? How did it work? And what, or I mean, what was it like? How did it work? What do you, what do you think moved things into the instinctive, habitual level? How does a baby do it so quickly and without special training or instruction? What limits might adult learners think exist to prevent them from doing mm -hmm. the same with foreign languages or new skills? Mm -hmm. So yes, I love that question mm -hmm. because he, yeah, you just gave the example of of language learners who approach it with a traditional system and then they aren't successful because it's it, it's it's such a good contrast it's like you learned it as a baby mm -hmm. you're successful mm -hmm. you're doing it yes and so often the idea is oh well when you're a baby you have way more neural connections firing and you have all these different and then that goes away as you get older so then you lose that ability to learn that, that that's one picture of it is that oh you just can't do it now mm. but then you can s there are examples of people who do so is it because is it that self-fulfilling prophecy where you have a limit and then you reinforce that limit that's one of, oh wait yeah 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 one of, the, one, of the, one of the reasons why it would happen mm -hmm. the self-fulfilling prophecy the limit that you think is there and so then it is there mm. so but yes there is evidence He's put very good evidence that you can learn many languages as an adult. <laughs> I have evidence you can learn an additional language. <laughs> yeah. And I, anyone who's actually had been, has been successful in learning a foreign language as an adult will have a lot to draw from when mm -hmm. this, with this analogy. And so it, I, I would just be like, yes, if you had had that experience, be like, yes, I learned, I was in Japan for four years, I learned Japanese. Like anyone who's had that experience, this will make a lot of sense to you. Anyone that has it, it will make sense in theory. And then also you can look and draw on your observation of people learning languages and actually learning any skill. Yeah, the pick language just because most people have language of some kind, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes us people. <laughs> um, but yeah, any skill, any new skill you've picked up at any age. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So see you tomorrow. Okay. See ya. Bye.